It is Saturday, December 9th, 2023, and I'm at Reagan National Airport in Washington, D.C. I'm getting ready to take off to Montreal, and from Montreal, I will catch a flight to St. Pierre et Miguelon, a small archipelago off the coast of Newfoundland that I've always wanted to visit because it's very quirky. The islands are actually a territory of France, much like Tahiti. So after a week there, I'll head to St. John's, Newfoundland, and then I'll spend a week in Newfoundland, and then I'll head home. I'll check back in in Montreal. Made it to Montreal. Just need to go through customs, get my passport stamped. For six hours, I'll be in Canada. I've gotten through customs. I am now in the main terminal at Montreal Airport, where apparently nobody seems to know where Air St. Pierre is. I think I'm just going to hang out here for probably the next two and a half, three hours, and then, uh, then try to find the desk for Air St. Pierre. I made it to the gate. The flight leaves in about an hour, so we're going to begin boarding soon. It is about a two and a half hour flight. The weather tomorrow is going to be sunny and brisk, but it looks like it's going to be sunny. No rain, because it looks like it's going to rain for a good portion of the week. I'll check back in when we get to St. Pierre. It is about, well, it is about a quarter after midnight local time, and uh, we have made it to St. Pierre. There's not much to see right now, but first impressions are definitely long given, just by the size of the airport. And also, it just feels remote. It feels so quiet and remote. <laughs> I'm gonna like this. I have a feeling I'm going to really like it. It is Sunday, December 10th, 2023, and I am in St. Pierre. I had a little bit of trouble sleeping last night, mostly because the bed was horribly uncomfortable. The pillow situation was not very good, and it was just like, it, it just wasn't good. It's kind of like Long Yerbin and Ululisat. All right, it's a like quiet and remote and it has that feeling to it that I like. However, it's a little more populated about as much as Ululisat. I think Ululisat has slightly more people, but it's still, it's, it's not a very big difference. The house is here really remind me of Greenland quite a lot because they're very colorful, very vibrant. I get the impression that this is a somewhat unique day. And what I mean by it being a unique day is that it's sunny and it's not rainy or cloudy. It's Sunday and the problem with that is that most things are closed on Sunday. I got this handy map that the woman at the hotel was kind enough to give me. She said one grocery store was open till noon and the other one was open all day. So I think we're gonna go to the one that's open at noon, maybe pick up a couple of things. All right, apparently there's a grocery store down here, but it's not one that the woman at the hotel mentioned. So it could be closed. I don't know if you can see it, but they actually have a reindeer in the window there. I think this is one. This is a grocery store that was not told to me. I think it's closed. Okay. 
we gotta go that way. It's very, very quiet. You can definitely tell it's a French town, though. It feels very French. It feels very rural French, even though I don't think I've ever been to rural France. But it definitely does feel like if I was to go to a little town in France, this is what I would expect. Jouet Club. I have no idea what a Jouet Club is. There's no real buildings. Like, it seems that even the administrative offices just seem to be little houses. Killer dog here. Yeah. What a cute boy. Sure, his owner will be back shortly. He probably likes being outside, too. I hope. One thing I did not expect about St. Pierre is for it to be hilly. There, it's actually very hilly. There's a lot of hills, a lot of houses that go up into the yonder. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that the grocery stores I want to go to are not up there. I think this is one, but is it? No, it's locked. This is a house. Maybe it's closed. Grossit. Alimentación. See, alimentación in Spanish means like groceries or provisions. Janalal, bean, wine, alcohol. But I, I guess it's closed. So I don't know where I'm at. And I didn't find the grocery store. I think the one that she said is open all day is closed. Just doing a little mild trespassing on what I believe is the uh, building for the ferry terminal. There's no signs. Like the businesses, they don't have any signs. They're really small, so you can't find them. I think I found the, the big grocery store. I think this is it. Again, no signs, no nothing. How would you ever know what this is? I might've walked past it, I don't know. Oh. I actually brought NyQuil with me, but they sell it here. A lot of countries are weird about that. Okay, I need to get some dry stuff. I can't make anything. I don't have a kitchen. This is a horrible idea. I'm gonna stay in this hotel for a week. Hoi. Okay, well, my battery died while I was inside of the grocery store. I was walking around. They actually just turned the lights off on me, so I just put everything that I put in my basket. I just put it away and just uh, left. Maybe I was just a block over on the other grocery store, so we're approaching that grocery store from the other block. I see another building. Looks like it could be products. It sells tobacco and alcohol. So what more do you need? Chez le tonel épicier, épicier. So that last one, product congel. I guess it's the same as Spanish. Frozen products. Sure I can find a place to get soda. That is more important than food. Okay, these will be good. I don't need them today, but I might need them tomorrow. Let's see, let me get some chips. Hopefully he has a bag I can buy. Yeah, he does. Meat. I don't even know where bread is. Ah, uh, they got bread back there. I don't need a whole loaf. All right, I'm gonna have to come back. I'm gonna go to a restaurant. Come back. All right. I'm a little stressed out because, like I said, I'm in a hotel room with just a refrigerator. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And... Yeah, I'm kind of punching myself. Right now, I'm hungry. I'm mostly hungry. But I'm kind of a little annoyed that I decided to stay in a hotel. It seems like a long walk. It seems like the hotel is like kind of, it's near the water, which is nice, but otherwise it's near nothing. Crap. 
or as the French say, Nia. I'm back by the Jouy Club. No idea what it is. So the plan now is to go to the city center and find a restaurant. I know what a lot of you are thinking. You're thinking, why don't you just use your phone? That's brilliant. I should just use my phone. Oh my God. The thing is, is that my carrier, they have an international plan that's $10 a day. I use that plan a lot when I travel. It's great. It's a little expensive, but it's great. St. Pierre is one of the few places where they don't have it. So then I started thinking, you know, I should make a point of going to all the places that my telephone carrier does not have coverage. Why not make life more difficult for me? That's the alternate hotel, which I might have made a mistake not staying there, but that's okay. Because right here, there's karate. Another issue is that a lot of these streets are not labeled, so I don't know what's what. <sighs> this is going to be an issue. Closed on Sunday. Bonjour. Parlez-vous anglais? Un petit peu. Are there any restaurants open? Yeah, this, one open. this one's open. Oh, upstairs, you have to oh. go that way, yeah. Okay, thank you. Merci. Welcome. mozzarella, chicken, cream, and onions. I don't know why cream is listed twice, but it is. I'm ordering pizza hoping that it is a large pizza, so maybe I can take half of it home. According to the map, there are a couple of takeout places in there. I have no idea what kind of food it is because the map doesn't say, but I, again, the, the, the trick today is that it's Sunday. There's not a lot open on Sunday. I'm gonna walk around a little bit more after I eat my pizza and see. Now, I've always said, if you're gonna stay somewhere more than two nights, you get an Airbnb. And what did I do? I got a hotel thinking, oh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. But no, I got it, I got it. Should have gotten an Airbnb. Well, I had lunch. It was this Indian pizza. It was a pretty, Okay, pizza, I suppose. Whoa! Step down. There's a cafe here, Cafe Glacier, which I think means ice cream. It's probably closed. Hola. Yeah. Mercredi au samedi. Tuesday to Saturday, Madi à Vendredi, Tuesday to Wednesday. Yeah, they're closed. It is so quiet. My hands are getting a little cold because it is breezy, but it is so quiet. Oh, there's a laundromat. Let's check that out. I know where we're at. There's a gas station down there. That's pretty exciting. We're about right here. I think we're at sea exactly. Let's walk down to the gas station. The clouds have come in and it's actually significantly colder with the cloud cover. Oy. I saw this place on Google Street Maps. I still don't know what it is. Is it a hardware store? I think maybe it's like some hardware store. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I see locks and fire alarms and pipes. Definitely, definitely a hardware store. All right, let's keep walking. Here's the gas station, which is closed. So if you need to get gas on Sunday in St. Pierre, you're out of luck, bonjour. 
One thing that the lady at the front desk mentioned is that they get one delivery per week on a boat. One of all the provisions that they can sell for the week. So she said that if I go tomorrow to the market, to the grocery store, that there should be a bigger selection because the shipment comes in on Mondays, apparently. Now this, now I feel like I'm back in the beautiful Faroe Islands in downtown Torshavn. Access interdit, surf usage. I'm going to say that access interdit means uh, uh, no restricted access. Safe usages, soif usages. I don't know what that means. Barachois de. Here we are. Access interdit. And according to this, yes, access prohibited, except users. All right, except people who can use it. So I'm not gonna go down there. I get the impression that jail time here in St. Pierre would probably not be too rough, but that uh, it's still not something I really am that curious to experience. There are other ways that I can spend a week in St. Pierre. And heck, the store is getting a delivery tomorrow by boat. So how cool is that? We'll go check out this grocery store with full provisions, with full alimentation. Saint Pierre. Villiers jumelés avec autres en bossant I don't know what that means. I do know. I do know that avec means with. In means in. I think that's about all I know. This is something that they need to adopt in the United States because this is telling you when you're leaving St. Pierre. So really, if I'm on this sign, it's like, okay, now I'm in St. Pierre. No, I'm not in St. Pierre. In St. Pierre, not in St. Pierre. I mean, who wouldn't want to do that? Like, I just did it, it was amazing. Oh boy, I need to find something to do. Now, is this a restaurant or somebody's house? I don't know. It looks like it's attached to some type of building and I hear cooking going on. There's bar seats. And I see food. I don't know what that is. It's a tennis school. Interesting. The thing that gets me most is how quiet it is. It's about 2 p.m. There's no traffic. Okay, there's some traffic, but it's just, it's so little. And also I can already see signs of things to struggle with. Like, like you have to get your groceries on Monday. I would imagine tomorrow, when that place opens up, it's probably going to be bananas. So I don't know. Could I live in St. Pierre? I think that's the question I'm going to ask myself this week. Could I live here? Faroe Islands, no. As beautiful as the Faroe Islands was, couldn't live there. Greenland, yes. Why? I'm not sure. Here? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's what I need, is a mission to ask myself, could I live here in St. Pierre? It's too soon to say right now. I've only seen it on a Sunday. I'm gonna head back to the hotel and we're gonna find out this week whether or not I could live in St. Pierre. I don't know, maybe.